Hey, what's up everybody? This is Bedbug Brian. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to my Fake and Ham Clan series here. We're going to hop right into it. I guess I'm going to start just showing uh, what we have as far as like it's on survival mode, hard difficulty, not customized. I'm probably going to get into that in the next series. And then we're on mountainous terrain. We got 17 hours, 27 minutes into this series here. This is actually really just supposed to be my tester series that kind of get me reacclimated to the game. Um, and boy, have I been. Uh, I have another uh, series that I'm doing off of YouTube, just playing for myself, trying to get ahead of it, get familiar with some of the technology that, I, you know, I played this a year ago, but I, a year ago I put in about 250 hours. And um, since I started this series like two weeks ago, I probably, who knows how many hours I put, I might even want to say. Um, so I'm just trying to test out all the things I'm not used to basically, but let's get into the home improvements here. Um, the last episode, um, I forgot what I did exactly, but, uh, and then I, sp I played another 10 minutes just kind of cleaning up shop here and I went ahead and fixed the kitchen area. Look how cool it is. I divided basically, this used to be kind of one big room. Now it's two. This is the library. Here's the kitchen. In the kitchen, I got some uh, fermentation stations here, butchering shop, but just plenty of room. It's actually a kitchen. Oh, no, it's not because we need the um, stove. We don't have that technology yet, but plenty of space. In fact, this is the thing that I'm, you know, new to is the, you know, all this rating of the rooms, impressiveness, spaciousness, and so on, and uh, average aesthetic value, 0.7, quite low, um, but it is just a kitchen. But at the very least, it's a good rating. It's not uh, a bad experience, uninspired, awful, anything like that. Here's the library, officially a library, and it currently has 5.3. Um, in my other game, I have pushed almost to a value of 10 per square, and it still said good, it, but it wasn't 10. It was like 8 something, so I'm imagining that um, if you get an aesthetic value of 10, it switches from good to fine. I don't know, so... Um, but that's kind of the quest that I'm on right now, trying to figure out, because it's just all new to me. Um, so anyways, yeah, this is no longer cramped. We don't have a bunch of crap on the floor, a bunch of miscellaneous. We're finally getting to a point where each room has its own purpose. We have organization. That's the way I like to play it. That's the way I like to kind of live my own life. I don't like chaos and disorderliness. Everything needs to make sense, and it needs to look good and be well thought out. That's the way I like to do things. Um, here's our great hall. It's pretty great. Um, let's check it out. Oh, it's not a great hall. What happened here? What? It's not a great hall. What happened? I thought I achieved that. Imagine, all right, we got four uh, torches. We need six uh, banners or something equivalent. Maybe that's what it is. I just stopped short. I probably was waiting on something to be built and moved on other things. So we'll fix that real quickly. That's not a big issue. Um, this is the game room. Uh, the only option is to play backgammon. So there you go. Uh, room temperature while we're at it here. 71, 68. Yeah, uh, now that the, all these upgrades to comfort and these different stats, I'm now more and more aware of the temperature of the room. Not that I wasn't before, but if it got a little too hot, they'd complain. That was about it. If it was too cold, of course, they would complain. But now it's like I'm designing rooms to where if it's big enough, you know, the bigger it gets, uh, the harder it is to cool, but it's a good way to balance out. Like if it's too small and you put a brazier in there, brazier in there, it's going to be a sweatshop. It's going to be almost 80 degrees and so on. So you play with the space, torches versus braziers, all that jazz. Try to get the right balance. Uh, so this is our shared room. We're not going to put a whole lot. Uh, we're not going to have individual rooms anytime soon. I mean, all in all. I'm not going to have these guys uh, ecstatic because it takes so much, you know, uh, to get that little green whatever. You have to have all the, the finest luxuries. We're not going to have that anytime soon. So as long as they're not rebelling and we're moving forward, that's kind of the way I see this. So there we go. There's the first floor. The second floor is still very cramped. However, uh, we actually have... Um, 
temples now. So that's a nice quality of life improvement. This is left over from as we were developing. We have two shops. One's, you know, a uh, bowyer table and workbench and then tailoring shop. It's not really divided or anything. So what I've been thinking about is going a third and final floor. And what it's going to be is basically this whole area Plus, I'm going to take off the roof on this small structure here. So what it's going to be is maybe the actual workbenches. Since you can mix tailoring, uh, workbench, you know, um, carpentry and all that. As long as you have the tool rack set up, you know, you can get that bonus modifier. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the benches. Excuse me. Let me just. Sorry, guys. I apologize. We're going to make it all flooring. We're going to get rid of the roof up here and we're going to extend this floor over to this building here so it's seamless, right? And so uh, the third and final floor will have walls up um, and this is just going to store all our armor that we get from battle, all the textiles, all that kind of stuff is going to be in this large area and then the actual workshop area is going to be over here. And it'll just be one big room. All the materials here, and then the workbench is over here, and it's gonna be massive spaciousness. It's gonna be awesome. So that's gonna be the game plan. And then I think I have blacksmithing. No, I don't, but we are working on it. Of course, I have smelting. Blacksmithing could be real soon. But what I'll do with that ultimately is I'm going to continue to dig um, the ore here and um, we'll probably build some kind of blacksmith finally separate from this. Um, I'm not trying to build a castle. So once I get that third floor in there, I'm pretty sure that's going to be it. And then uh, we'll need to start building walls on the perimeter and then like have separate buildings. And so maybe the blacksmith shop will be right here next to the source next to the furnaces and all that. So that's kind of the, the general gist here. Ooh, that's a great name. Hi, my name's General Gist. Okay, so other than that, I it's been a little while since I played this particular uh, playthrough. So let's just kind of look and assess what we need. Check the perimeter. Where are we at? We're in winter, day seven. like it. Uh, my plan forest out here is working out really well. Let's look at the uh, tech tree because I really can't remember where we're at. Blacksmithing. We have 30 here. Smelting. Research too. It's just a matter of space really, but we're getting to that point. Armor would be great. Probably will do that. Maybe we'll go with this just for the shells and get me closer to cooking. Because with armor, I really need that third floor and lots of space. That bench alone is pretty huge, but it's also really important to have. Um, the other thing, armor, I might just do that. Because, uh, you know, playing to our strengths here, gun is actually a pretty fantastic tailor. 25 which means if I have an armor table we could take whatever textiles and make gambesons and uh, light armor and at the very least protect ourselves uh, and have like almost 20 percent with light armor um, uh, as far as an armor rating because right now it's just like random things that are just you know garbage this guy doesn't even have armor yeah that's one thing no need to decide just yet but that's probably going to be it we'll go with armor let's move on where should i mine is the question uh there's only the front door so in terms of hauling it'd be convenient to have limestone uh mined up here okay Forty-eight. Let's say this is basically hundred. Okay, it's actually ninety-six. One hundred, two hundred, three hundred fifty. You just keep going. Three fifty. Four hundred. Fifty. 500 plus the 200 here. So we got like 
700. Now, who would build if I'm ready to pull that trigger? It'd be Custa, who is cooking, constructing. So we really could have them building. So let's just get it built. And then we'll make improvements here. I don't really need the stair. It's just going to be deleted. And then eventually a smarter looking door entrance will happen. This is the last floor. So yes, this is my overhang. So that way when people are shooting, they can not have to be in rain and snow and all that. Um, but I'm not worried about stability issues. I'm worried about square footage. We'll throw in windows later. I just want these walls up. I got doors on both sides. That's good. Okay, so Custa, boom. That's his project right there. We don't need flooring on the top floor, so we can go ahead and put a roof. And even though this is not limestone block, at least it will be limestone, so it's more durable. When we get to trebuchets, hopefully we'll have better buildings, better materials for the buildings. But that's That'll work. Boom. Uh, of course, that's going to get destroyed once we extend over here. But for now, I just want a kind of a space for textiles. Uh, warfare items, all that. Enclosed building first, and then we'll go from there. All right, yes, we're going to need, so everyone's wearing their appropriate clothing. I don't think we have a lot of backup in terms of summer wear. Let's look at that. Items, apparel, superior, fine, and fine. Nice to know. So, um, in fact, we could also make the hats too. So three, we need at least four and probably five by the time we get a fifth person. So that'll work. No need to do any more summer shirts than that unless they suck when she makes them, which I doubt, she's pretty good. Um, then we'll do a round of hats over you. We don't want flimsy, so we'll have one. These are best for summer. We'll do that. One and two. Sweet. This is going pretty good. We got Custom solely working on her thing. So everybody's working on their their strengths here, what they love to do, what they're good at. What's not happening is research, which is okay. We need space for a lot of things. And I still haven't used my 30. We, if we didn't do armoring, even in the blacksmithing thing, you'd have to first get a hundred stone blocks or, you know, limestone blocks. So this wouldn't be bad either. Pretty sure it would be armory. I'm no need to choose right now, though. Okay. Clearly, I forgot to put the gate on this side. I thought we had it on both sides. We need to get our training game up 17. I think I heard somewhere that you get it up to 25, you're pretty close to just guaranteeing being able to train. 
So this is time well spent because we need things to be able to haul. Uh, that's just we got Sadie and Ruffington, which is that's helpful. It's actually Ruffington the third. He's quite fancy. I have another game where these sheep, they really tend to multiply, which is great. I can't wait for that. What do we have here? Male, female. Oh, yeah. About the same age, same interest in life. See how much we'll eight. I guess that's good. I've seen anywhere from eight to twelve, which gives us options. Not yet nineteen, but in terms of hats, what do we got? These are also excellent tradable items, which uh, we can really benefit from. I can't remember the last time we got raided though, so I'm a little reluctant to send anyone out until we have a raid. Uh, I forgot what I was. 35 materials to make a hat, so not quite enough. Fifty percent. One percent. All right, cool. Okay, Charvel's constructing. Let's see what's up with that. That's his number five job so there's no cooking that can be done apparently no smithing all right that is because we don't have enough ore so i'm not hating it construction needs to be done but really we need to make sure this guy is getting better and better at smithing we need to hit level 20 on smithing so that way we can make mechanical components which then we can make the advanced research table and uh, we can make crossbows, stuff like that. So 389, that's probably more than enough to get done with this building up here. So once this square is finished, we'll have them come over here, start mining some ore again. In fact, there's some limestone. I'll just go ahead and do Nice. Oh, two new ones. Oh, a little litter of sheep. Okay, I'm not a farmer. I don't know anything about farming, so whatever that's called. Cool. I don't even know what baby sheep are. Are they kids? Ah, so adorable. Hell yeah. So soon we'll have a pretty great supply of wool, which only just makes us go more full full force into tailoring which then can be traded to other regions there and uh, we will be quite rich because she makes pretty good stuff summer clothing fine good good like her low end is generally good which is great 
All right, now that there's ore, Charvel has went back to the number two priority smithing, which is great. So each time you run the furnace, it's 30 ore. I'll probably keep a lookout to how much we're making here. That's 100. So that's a round of, you know, iron ingot making a round of smelting. So we'll just fill up these two squares. I set this to a higher priority than this. So when we're ready to move on from mining over here, we'll just break off a square or two, which will be filled up. So it looks like for iron nugget, for some reason, it's only a, a hundred per square, whereas limestone is 200. So what we'll do is go, okay, when we're ready, we'll just shrink this zone by one square. And then that way the dog can take full loads over to the furnace. In fact, that's what we'll do now. Boom. So what we'll do is say low and medium. So it'll, it'll get hauled over to the furnace there. Hey, future bedbug Brian here. Just to let you know, I'm working on the Great Hall, and um, I don't realize this until much later on, like episodes later. Okay. The mistake that I made was I put down wall banners, or excuse me, I did not use wall banners. I use floor banners, and you need to specifically use wall banners to make um, a Great Hall. Or armor shield decoration stuff like that i just never figured this part superior out. nice let's look at the inventory here two finds a good sturdy all right this is a good time to say dismantle we'll just kind of keep the focus not on everything winter summer cap and this anything that's less than good dismantle one more point here oh let's make that forever for now forever edit clear same items anything that's less than 50 percent get rid of it that should apply to everything, but I'm not, you know, you want to be careful when it comes to dismantling things. You might need a gambeson or something. Okay, zero to 50, flimsy to sturdy, less than good, yes, no. Actually, excuse me, any of these focused on those items, regardless of the quality, get rid of them. Nice. This enormous room went up pretty painlessly i wasn't really paying attention now we're gonna have tons of room love it so yeah i mean really we could put up like a post here and beam and just have a massive we might do that That's the great thing about dismantling so many items. That was 113 experience for something that took almost no time, and we got some textiles out of it. I don't want to get too crazy with projects. We'll narrow the focus. That way, uh, Custa can move from the finishing this room, which is... What? Preparing food. I want those banners built. He's... Preparing food. Well, that's what his number one is, so we won't interfere with that. I wonder what exactly, though. Oh, and uh, I'm learning about uh, fermentation and all that. So I did learn that what I need to do, and I will do, is create a, fern uh, a cellar down below and get the spacing right and have, you know, one or two torches so I can control the temperature because what you want is... Um, a, a range from uh, 41 and a half degrees to 50 degrees 
um, so that you're able to ferment your stuff in three days. If it's out of those ranges, it'll stop fermentation or it'll take up to 12 days or whatever it is. Now, that said, I don't think I've ever produced anything other than dubious wine, so uh, I haven't quite figured it all out. Maybe it's a culinary skill issue, I don't know. But um, I certainly want to make sure that uh, you know, we get something for these guys to drink because I have a tendency, or I have been um, having a tendency of letting these guys just be completely without any alcohol at all. And then as a result, we're just like negative six the whole time uh, on everybody's morale. So that's no, no good. So that's certainly a project uh, to think about. And that's going to be a project for Hingus, my miner. So once we get ahead of the game here, the dog is hauling. Great. That's a, a supply for construction up there. 55. And once we have a supply of ore here, which would be 200, we'll have uh, Hingus go downstairs and start making a wine cellar. How exciting! Yes! Really, really, really soon. Let me think about this. So, station's right here. Just trying to make it as close as possible. We'll go down to this level here. I guess. Or... Let's just do it like this. Okay, this is right at the floor level. But we'll have another stairway going that way. And that'll be like our cellar. Why not? Once again, we got everyone doing their specialty. Gun is out of tailoring, so she's moved on to cutting, which is great. 295, we're not hurting for wood, but no need to try to get into construction projects and not be able to build because of the lack of wood, which happens so often. In fact, we'll say wood here, material, wall, wood. And we'll say, make it, for now, very high. And thinking ahead, let's just do a little supply of ingots. That way, you know, torches, metal torches, certain benches. Um, iron. Things like that. It'll be readily available so the person that's trying to construct doesn't have to do all the running back and forth the dogs and stuff can do it for them manufactured always have the supply of materials done ahead of the construction project when you're paying these guys by the hour you just don't want them standing around you know they have specialized skills they're expensive so here I don't like a way I built this. Generally, on this one square, it should have come out one more. That way you could put a door. We won't repeat that mistake. We'll, we'll go one more deep that way. This way, I could put a door. Just kind of extra layer of uh, protection from the temperature, or, you know, temperature control. This looks really cool to me. I like the banners. We got, it's actually a little too warm. But if you come in from outside and you're freezing, it'll warm you up quickly. Ugly apparel. Now that's surprising. What do we, what do we got that's ugly here? A good cap and flimsy winter. Ah, I did not realize. I bet you we got something good here. Do it this way. Ah, okay. 
winter clothes good right here you with your flimsy winter equip that now we're cooking get rid of that negative five or whatever it was it's not elegant because it's only good but it's not a negative two everyone else is wearing good enough clothing no complaints on that in that department just need to get um, that cellar going so we can control the temperature got the construction here is that enough room one two and three yes Angus staying busy and like I said just like that we got space for once I don't think it's gonna be a huge issue of course I built all this roof oh wait that's not gonna matter it's a different level uh, let's do it like this we'll put a door here we'll get rid of the, the roof here Single layer roof. Is that right? Yes. The third floor. Was good for insulation, so that's kind of why I use it for rooms. Wood floors. The question is, do we build out to here? And the answer is yes. We're going to be digging out the cellar, so I don't know what kind of materials are in that level. Most likely just, uh, I was going to say lime, as in like lemon lime. Most likely limestone, which means we'll have a supply to build out this here. So we're going to, yeah, we'll make it ugly first. Um, the settlers can use the Merlons here if they want to shoot at enemies, so I don't have to worry about like having access. We could probably put a door eventually here. We'll fix all that in the long run. Right now, I'm just trying to get the biggest space possible for workshops and uh, space to store things like uh, apparel from warfare and warfare items. For now, we'll just put a door there, and then boom, the bottom floor will be extended as well at the same time. We'll put a door here, put a door, excuse me, here. I mean, that looks like it's 10 wide there. Let's, let's see. Let's do a quick measurement here. This is 10. Boy, I'm getting good at just seeing it. But it'll actually be 9 wide. We don't need an extra wall divider. So that, that works out fine for me. Again, we're just going to make this as blocky, boring, unimaginative as possible. And then once it's built, we'll come back, put in windows, do it right. Uh, so we'll do one, two, four, three. No need to do extra, extra stabilization yet. I really don't think I'm going to go higher than three floors in this structure. One, two, three. Oh, that worked out good. Nice. So instead of putting, we'll just use some stone instead of building a wall. This is just going to be a little lip here so I can have another rooftop in the same direction as this. It'll look a little weird, but whatever. 
Just like that, man. We went from cramped like two episodes to being like really set up nice. The next wave is to make it look right, which then also affects the aesthetic value and so on. But even if there was no aesthetic value, you know, I'd want it to look right. So that's for sure going to be uh, part of the the plan. But indicators, no. We could do this and then this. That might be smart. And just look at meals. Let's do that for a while. 154, got a little milk, some barley. I should say not to use barley on any of these so I can plant. Okay, not an issue there. So happy to have this. Like I said, this felt very effortless. I wasn't even paying attention. Next thing I know, I have a warehouse. That feels great. And with that, all right, this is coming along just fine. Let's look at materials, raw. 90s. Let's kind of sort this in the meantime without using weapons, weapon racks. Uh, so we're gonna say, let's just get ranged weapons here. So we'll just say ranged. No need to get too specific with that. And we're giving one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So 16 squares ought to, ought to do it for now. It's just handy to do it this way. Melee one. This is what I really want, armor racks. Not to mention the ability to make quality beds and all that. That's when we really start boosting up the aesthetic value and quality of life, comfort. As you can see, we haven't gained one chronicle since we started this episode because they're so busy with other projects. So not going to invest any research just so in case something unexpected happens, I have the ability to go, okay, get me this, you know. Okay, so this we have set to just one-handers, and over here we'll say two-handed. Uh, we're bound to have a battle here pretty soon, so this will pay off for me soon. You can look at what you have, not have to look at the weapon racks. That's the kind of the big issue that I have with weapon racks. We'll put shields over this. We should have a chunk for armor. And maybe we'll spread uh, tailoring stuff here for now. Let's have a little dividing line here. Let's just put armor, body armor, get headgear, shields, body, headgear. Let's store winter shirts over here since it's about to be spring. those grass hats over here and we'll put general apparel and stuff here until we get that other room built so this is just miscellaneous apparel could expand textiles and then we'll sort the textiles too and have goat leather all that stuff I don't know I just like to do it like that that's just me effortlessly basically we got this made which is great now that we have this space built it does make me want to build uh, armor desks and in fact 
I'm on the verge of saying downstairs could be my tailor shop because we've now gained so much space. Because we have this now. That's all new. This is new. Of course, I left this open because down below we'll end up moving these furnaces and maybe this will be used to extend the library. That's what we'll do. And then to move these furnaces, they'll come down here. Now that we've cut it all out, that's a great plan. What a great plan. Awesome. And we're getting close to the end of winter, which is fantastic. It gives us a wide variety of things to um, get into, gardening and whatnot. Okay, so let's prove it to myself again. I know I can put a wooden stairway, but this is not going to get blocked, right? Hingus is sleeping. Let's just get this built. Custa. Custa's going for it. Alright. Fantastic. And then that way we can get this going. Boop. Alright. So my cellar, I'm not going to build too quickly. But what I am going to do is we're going to have a door. And then instead of just having these you know, raw limestone walls that are carved out from mining. I'm going to insert, um, ultimately, limestone block, or whatever is the highest insulator, and um, go like that. And then I'm going to have these little niches that where we could put in some torches. And the torches... Uh, are going to be available so I can turn on and off based on how hot it is outside and based on how big I make the cellar and we're just going to use it to co precisely control the temperature or at least keep it in that range of like 42 degrees to 50 and I imagine there's this perfect sweet spot to make good rough wine and all that I don't know what it is yet because all I make, like I said in the beginning, is dubious wine. So I'm not sure what's going on there. Okay. That's the start of Cellar 1. So really pleased with that. Very pleased indeed. Is this a great hall now? It's still a spare room. Um, does it need the... What is it missing? We have now to... Four, six. I bet you we need, without looking, we're just going to put up two more banners. That's That makes sense. Banner. Wool. How are we doing on wool? Material. Textiles. What is this? Try to use the miscellaneous leathers. All right, we want wall to start with. So we'll go with boar. Boom, boom. That should make it a great haul. Just without really doing the research, that's got to be it. It won't be it because the first four were floor banners. As I mentioned earlier, they're all supposed to be wall banners. Is this in indoors? Nope, but it is under roof. What are we missing for indoors? It should be. It is not indoors probably because of this right here. But we can make it indoors. In fact, what a great opportunity to throw in another reinforced door. Two of them. That'll make this area Reinf uh, indoors and then we can start removing walls can't wait to finish the other construction project because I, I want to quickly move on to uh, getting these furnaces set up and expanding the library that's there it is okay we could say this of course they'll get destroyed if I don't protect them right away the second I do this it'll probably get Rated. 
So we'll try to put some walls around this ASAP. Sweet. I want you to focus on these. That's going to work out great. Just to be so close to the material. And see all this running around the front door, going down the stairs, that was just uh, not very efficient at all. But necessary in terms of like defending the main structure here. This dude's trying to train. Let's just get these furnaces built. And let's get uh, doors and stuff. So we kind of built this, not with furnaces in mind. This is a last minute thought. Let's do it like this. It'll be a small area to start with and then it'll grow. But I need walls. That's one possibility. So the only way to get into it is down the stairway, which is a door, reinforced door. Then you have to go through this gated, graded door. That could be good for now. And then I'll make sure to cap this off so that way none of the enemies can just get on my wall and kind of see what it wants to see. And then we'll put in, you know, proper. But this way I don't lose my furnaces for no reason at all. And we'll wait for a raid, but then after the raid, we'll take a whole bunch of iron ingots and trade it with other uh, territories, whatever you want to say. Excellent. Well, I think we reached a good stopping point. I'm really happy with what we did. We made a warehouse. We expanded. We're going to expand the library. We moved the furnaces. Soon we'll have a blacksmith shop that's separate to the main fort. So things are starting to look good. We have space. Moved it plenty of room to move around but that's going to do it this time if you liked it please like and subscribe and i'll see you next time